I wouldn't say I'm considering a rematch, but uh, I knew coming into this fight she was a great fighter. Um, technically very good, she was, a, she was a good amateur as well, so I was expecting a tough challenge, but I think everybody else was, was overlooking this opponent, but we certainly weren't. Um, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought it was a convincing win, so I wouldn't say we're really considering a rematch. Um, uh, but she's a great fighter, and uh, I, I have a, a lot of respect for her coming into this fight as well. But I know this fight, I, all I, I need to do is just get the win for this fight, and then I, I'm looking at bigger and, and, and bigger names next year. Uh, genuinely, like more than a, than a dream for me to, to have a chance actually um, headline in Madison Square Garden, the most iconic venue of boxing, the Mecca of boxing. So this is huge, uh, and the possibly against uh, Amanda Savannah, which is the biggest fight in women's boxing right now. And this is exactly why I got, got involved in the professional boxing for in the first place to involve in fights like this and to be fighting on big stages like this. So um, it's very, very exciting. When you came out that night and it was such a, such a Irish kind of crowd yeah. as well, but can you imagine what it would be like when you're headlining it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be incredible. But, um, I remember even against uh, Eva Wallstrom and hearing the Ole Ole's around the, around the stage when I was boxing. It was incredible, so I can't, <coughs> I can't imagine what it's going to be like if I'm, if I'm actually headlining. Is it going to be a bigger one? Or? No, we're going to try and go for the main one. Yeah. They want to, they want to yeah. do it MSG, so. Yeah. Yeah. We better get seven. <laughs> <laughs> Big place. Yeah, so well, we had the tier female yeah. fight in the theatre. Still, mate, I mean, four, four and a half thousand. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, and I know we take the mick out of Jake Paul sometimes, but genuinely, he's going to bring a lot of attention to the fight as well. You know, he's done a good job for Amanda Serrano. I mean, he's it really increased her value in this fight. You know, she's boxed now on Showtime, co-main event, a lot of big audiences on pay-per-view, and which is what we want. We want the fight to be as big as possible. And I think we, I think we'd be doing ourselves a little bit of an injustice by just doing four thousand. You don't know how big it could be. You know, could we just do the lower tier of nine or ten thousand? Would be an incredible achievement. Could we do the whole thing? But if you just do four, we know we're going to sell that out. So I'd like to see how big it could grow to. Yeah. Would it be fair to describe it as like an especially significant fight for you, purely because of how long it has been spoken about and the fact that it's come close, but also because whereas most of your opponents are, are quite respectful towards you, she hasn't always been, and like she's been planning to kind of dethrone you <coughs> since before you even had belts, right? Yeah, so. I think this uh, fight is a, a genuine 50-50 fight, so um, she's going in believing she's going to win at one hundred percent, and so and so am I. So that that's what this is what makes the best fight to boss and, and she's genuinely believing she, she, she is going to win the fight um, and she's obviously very experienced, she's a, a very very exciting, she has a huge uh, knockout ratio, uh, she's one of the most known fighters, uh, female fighters in the world, so over the years, um, ever since the start of uh, the professional game a few years ago, this fight was talked about, so it has been building for a few years now, um, so yeah. Right.